Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wi-Fi battle. Today we're having an NU tier match against my good buddy Cameron. If you guys like to battle me, hit me up on Twitter, Facebook, or Discord. Links as always are in the description below. So I haven't battled Cameron since like the Oris days, so it was nice to finally sit down and get a battle with him. After all this time, looking at his team, it looks like he's got some sort of like hazard stacking team going on. He has the Dredagon, the Frostlass, both of which can set up hazards. He also has the Hitmon Top, which could have Rapid Spin. He also has the Uxi, which also gets Stealth Rocks, I believe. He also has the Slowbro and the Dodrio. While well, looking at my team, I've got the Sneasel, Vivalon, the Verizion, Slowking. So we got uh, both the Slow Brothers here. We also have a Hitmonlee and a Steelix. So this was a fun battle, guys. I hope you'll enjoy. So the battle begins, I'm going to lead off with my Sneasel, as my opponent is going to lead off with his Lego Dragon, his, uh, his Drudagon, so I kind of figured maybe he'd swap out not wanting to take the Icicle Crash, but uh, I'm just going to go for it because I am Choice Bandit Sneasel and it does a dick load of damage. It's actually a little surprised I didn't kill, but I guess Drudagon's more bulky than I give it credit for. And unfortunately he's going to live on just a sliver and get up his own Stealth Cox. Now he's going to swap out, I honestly thought he'd probably just stay in and let his Drudagon go, but... I guess for whatever reason he wants to conserve it. He brings out Paul, nice Hayden nickname, and uh, I'm just going to go for a second Icicle Crash. And as I said before, I am Choice Banded, so I really can't do anything to Slowbro. I'm going to go ahead and swap out into Filber, which is my Slow King, <laughs> Paul's retarded cousin. And uh, he's going to swap out Paul into the Hitmon Top, which I thought was a little weird. But anyway, he's going to go out into You Spin Me Right Round, Baby Right Round, and uh, he's going to get the hell out of here. Brings out his Meeksy, another Hayden nickname, as uh, I'm just going to go for the Future Sight here. So, th basically, th this team was built to, like, force switches and punish switches. So, we have Sneasel with, like, Pursuit, and we have Future Sight on Slow King. So, that's kind of what the idea was. So, I'm actually going to bring out my, my uh, Sneasel here, because I do have the Pursuit, like I said. And uh, it is super effective. He does try to swap out. I go for the Choice Bandit Pursuit, does a dick load of damage to that Uxie. I kind of figured Uxie would live it just because Uxie's really bulky, but um, yeah, so he's going to swap out into his Lego Dragon, and uh, the Future Sight is able to kill him there, so <laughs> Future Sight coming in clutch there, and uh, now my opponent's going to bring back out You Spin Me Right Round, Baby Right Round, and uh, I'm just going to swap out here because I definitely don't want to deal with this Hitmon Top. I'm actually going to bring out my Hitmon Lee, my boy Drumstick is here, and uh, he actually shows that he does have the Bullet Punch, so... It's good to know that he does have some form of priority, and uh, I was a little torn here, like do I go for the Rapid Spin to get rid of his rocks, or do I just go for the knockoff knowing he's going to swap? I actually decided to go for the knockoff as he brings in his Slowbro, which kind of works out in my favor because it is super effective, and I get rid of his leftovers or whatever, so I'm going to bring back out Filber here as my opponent's going to go for a Scald. He actually crits me and burns me. Not that it matters, I am a Salt Vest as hell, and uh, I can basically eat those. And I do have Regenerator, so every time I swap, I'm going to get some HP back. So here, I'm just going to go for another Future Sight, as my opponent is going to bring out the Uxie. And I believe here, I'm just going to go for a Scald, because I kind of figured a Scald at the range this Uxie was at would probably kill him. But he's actually going to go for the uh, the U-turn here. And uh, just bring out Paul, and um, I'm pretty sure he was just assuming that he, was, he would just bring in Paul to take the Future Sight. But I actually have a plan up my sleeve here, so he's going to go for the slack off, and uh, that's going to put him up back to full health. And uh, I actually pack the dragon tail here, so that's going to force him out into the dodrio, which is now going to take the uh, stab future sight. Which, actually, I don't know if future sight actually gets stabbed, but it does a dick load to that, that, uh, <laughs> that three-headed bird, so I'm going to go ahead and swap out. It nearly kills him, actually. It was just pretty neat, so... Here, I'm going to bring out Boulder Boner here, and uh, he does have the Stomping Tantrum for some reason. Uh, I actually calculated it after the battle. He's actually better off with Jump Kick. It does more damage, but I don't know. For whatever reason, he's got Stomping Tantrum, <laughs> and uh, so he's just going to keep going for that. I'm going to go ahead and take this opportunity, set up my own Stealth Cox here, and uh, the turns are going to be a little slow because I have the, uh, the leftovers here on Steelix, and... Uh, I'm basically just going to let Steelix go here. I'm just going to go for the Toxic on the off chance he wanted to bring in his Hitmontop on my Steelix. Basically to whittle away at the uh, Hitmontop, because I know he does have the Rapid Spin. And if I could get rid of that, he won't be able to get rid of my Rocks, but it's all good. He actually stays in, and the Toxic's going to kill off his Dodrio. So now, 
he does decide to bring in the hit on top and uh, I kind of make a lulzy play here. I kind of figured he'd go for rapid spin right away so I'm actually going to go for these stealth rocks right here. So he does go for rapid spin, I get my rocks back up and uh, I just went for the uh, stealth cocks once again here just in case if he wanted to try that again, you know, I'd get my rocks back up. But no, he's actually just going to go for the close combat here. Now I just have to ensure that he doesn't get rid of my rocks. <laughs> so. Unfortunately, Boulder Boner is going to go down, but now I'm going to go out into blow jobs here. And uh, basically, Vivalon's only job here is to blow shit away with Hurricane. I kind of figured after the minus one from the close combat, the Hurricane would kill, but I guess once again, <laughs> I uh, I underestimated the uh, the bulk of his mons here. So unfortunately, it's not going to kill. He is going to get a bullet punch off, and that's going to do a decent amount to my Vivalon. But I'm able to kill him off with a second Hurricane. So here. He's going to bring out Paul, and uh, I'm just going to go for the Sleep Powder here, put him to sleep. And uh, I was kind of thinking maybe I should like start setting up, but I know that he does have priority in the back, I believe. So I decided just put him to sleep, go for Bug Buzz, and try to kill this thing. That way I don't have to worry about him, uh, him waking up and killing me or whatever, so... I'll go ahead and get rid of his uh, Slowbro. Also, he does have Regenerator, which could be annoying, so... It's pretty good to go ahead and get rid of that, so... He's going to bring out Frost last now. I know this thing's going to outspeed me, and I don't really think I need my uh, my Vivalon anymore. I'm going to go ahead and let him kill off Vivalon, and uh, I believe, I think I have like three or four mons left. I think I have three. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and bring in Filbert because I'm Assault Vested as hell. I know I can take basically anything this thing wants to do. He does go for a stab, <laughs> super effective Shadow Ball there. Filbert is going to eat that shit like it's nothing. I go for a Fire Blast to knock him down to his Sash, but his fucking Curse Body activates. I guess not that it really matters, but anyway, he's going to go ahead and kill me off with another Shadow Ball. And basically all I have to do now is bring in Spanky and go for the Ice Shard. I wanted to get him to his Sash to uh, to kill him off with Sneasel here, because I know I do have the uh, priority here. So that's going to kill off his Frost Lass, and his last Mon is this Meeksy which uh, I actually thought Choice Banded Ice Shard would kill this thing, but he's probably like max HP, max defense, and he actually lives on a sliver. He's going to go for the U-turn and kill off my Sneasel, but it's okay, I do have two Mons in the back, which can deal with this thing easily at the range of HP it's at. It's literally on the verge of death. So I kind of figured my uh, Verizion hasn't hasn't come out yet, so uh, I'm going to go into my boy Wireless here and uh, end the battle in style. Going for the Bloom Doom, and that is game. Good game, Cameron. Like I said, we haven't battled for a while, it was cool to uh, sit down with him, have another battle. We'll definitely rematch sometime, I had a blast. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, thank you so much for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Discord, links to those are in the description below. I love you guys, and peace out.